no. We have been on the road for a few days, traveling through Ontario, Manitoba, and reaching Saskatchewan. Already, it has been an eventful drive. We overpacked and slept squeezing ourselves between our stuff. We had encounters with black flies, and those of you who are familiar with Ontario camping, you know how exactly vicious those little creatures are. We have traveled through a wall of rain in the mountains and got hit by Saskatchewan winds up to 50 km an hour, and that's when our rooftop storage broke. But we'll talk about that later. And we almost lost our drone. Take a look. Our drone recovery mission started with us taking absolutely stunning videos over a Canadian Pacific Railway and a lake in the northern Ontario. It was a beautiful sunny day after heavy rains in the area. Who knew that our smart gadgets are not smart enough to come back when the battery level is low? So last footage and the message that we saw on the drone that it's going for an emergency landing and we literally had 60 seconds to get it to shore. All we knew, it landed somewhere on shore, along the railway, without actually having a direct access or being familiar with the area, we had to search for the drops to go down to the railway. Making our way through the thorns and the woods, all we knew was to move in an approximate direction towards the waterline. And we had our breakthrough. We reached the water after about half an hour. Now, just finding it along the shore was already a step closer. With our luck, we kept walking along the railways looking for a spot that looked anything like the last video we saw before the drone got shot. Some would say it's luck, and some would say it's an adventure, but we found it sitting between the rocks inches from the water. Unbelievable, we got it back. Thanks God, my little baby. <laughs> well, that was quite an adventure. Instead of five minutes, it took us two hours to recover the drone and thankfully we were able to get it and that's all that matters. Later that day, we ended up getting to Regina where we had friends who were kind enough to take us in for a couple of nights and also where we had to rethink our ways of traveling. Did someone say minimalistic? We had never considered ourselves minimalists. Always thought that it was something others did and it was not applicable to us. But reviewing our last couple of years, we can say that we have been living a minimalistic lifestyle and are continuing to do so with our travels. We do value experiencing life, but for us it lays in visiting new places, meeting new people, and living new cultures. Through people you see new perspectives opening up to you. You can see how incredibly different yet similar we all are. Don't get us wrong, we do enjoy having nice things and having comfortable arrangements, but we also understand that the material things can be taken away. Nothing is forever, but the fulfillments we get from understanding ourselves on a deeper level when we step outside of our familiar. We left the comfort of our home and minimized what we need in life. While downsizing, by going through our items, we went through emotions of attachment we had favorite items that have been with us for years. Some were sentimental and some were practical, but yet we had to choose what stays and what goes. We knew that most important for us was our travel that we have talked about for nearly four years. We had a choice to keep what we had accumulated or minimize it to the most important. We had given away, sold and donated a lot of what we had. And yes, some decisions were harder than others, but in those moments, you understand how clingy to the material items for one reason or the others we are. And that made us love. When the future is incredibly unpredictable and you cannot prepare yourself enough for it, being in the moment and enjoying it now is what's available to us. The rest will come. We had to make our travel light yet comfortable as well. Because minimalistic doesn't mean struggling or suppressing yourself. Rather, it's understanding what carries volume. We knew that having nice things is not an answer for happiness and fulfillment. Desire to move and live where we want to be and engage in the activities that we love doing brings true joy. We gain when we give, 
and the world opens up. So that is what we have decided to live by. And thus far, it has been showing us how rewarding this can be. So we've been on the road almost for a week. Our car is full of stuff that we brought with us and it's a little bit too much. We need to reorganize ourselves and the clothes is gonna be the first thing what I wanna reorganize. That's how much clothes I have and I wanna fit in this bag. It sounds crazy, but you wanna try to live in minimalistic lifestyle. See how it goes. All right, it's full. How I said, I will just grab whatever I can in this bag. The rest will be donated. All right, guys, so uh, we actually had some um, uh, emergency stop here and uh, our tulip broke a couple of days ago. And the first time that happened, it actually happened on the highway. Uh, nothing major happened, luckily for us. Uh, so there are two hinges on Tuli and that's holding it together and one of them broke off and actually opened up. So we lost some of our stuff, but we were able to recover it. So no problem, no injuries, nothing. And uh, we left Regina today and then on the way it was strong winds, about 45 kilometers an hour. So our Tuli opened up in the back a little bit. And so anyways, now we have to change it. We need to get a bigger one than this so everything can fit. And that's why we're here right now. We actually got to Calgary. We got to uh, Racks Unlimited. They do have a car cargo box, which is a different from Tula. It's bigger, it's a Kima, and uh, we're gonna have it nice. <clears throat> we're gonna have a trip place right now. So that's what we're doing. And then we're heading off to Banff and Lake Louise. When I was loading cargo box at home, I was dreaming about the new one. That was too small, I didn't like it. All our clothes and all our stuff didn't fit. And there you go, I got the new one. I didn't realize it's gonna be that fast. 